If I let his feet move, give him a place to move them to, then we can gradually work to where you can shoot off of him standing still. This is Maverick. This is the BLM Mustang that we started a few months ago. The one that was all wiggly. <clears throat> that we had to spend a lot of time working on steering. Steering is much better now. Uh, we've actually got him carrying a flag. His owner's goals are to use him as a mounted police horse. So we've been working him with a lot of stuff that he would encounter as working as a mounted police horse. And we got him where he would carry a flag and just de to into everything we could come up with. And he's really good at that. He'll walk across tarps and all kinds of stuff. And uh, I think he's going to make a really nice mounted police horse. <clears throat> Today I want to work on gunfire with him. Uh, it's one of those things that uh, a lot of horses need to be aware of okay with gunfire. And especially mounted police horses. And not only just to get him used to the gunfire, but get him used to loud sounds. Because he's going to encounter that as a police horse. Come on. So what I'll do, I've got a... Uh, Single action 22, I'm shooting ram set blanks, which those are basically blank cartridges that are used in construction to shoot nails uh, into whatever you're shooting the nails into. It just has a powder charge, there's no projectile that comes out. So it's just for the noise. <clears throat> and they work really good in a regular single action 22. They're a lot cheaper than buying 22 blanks. Because there's no projectile that comes out, you don't have the, the supersonic sound of the projectile of, of a 22. <clears throat> I've done a lot of shooting off of horses and I found that 22 caliber is probably the hardest caliber to shoot off a horseback, but, since, and, but that's because of the projectile breaking the speed barrier. And uh, it's heavier caliber slower bullets are generally better off horseback so uh, come on so what I'll do I'm gonna he's on my right I'm a fire on my left give him a place to go I'm not gonna confine him I'm not going to ask him to stand still I want his feet moving if I give him, let his feet move, give him a place to move them to, then we can gradually work to where you can shoot off of him standing still. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do it again. Give my leader up a little shorter. Carrying the lead rope this way on purpose. I can let it slide out. <clears throat> and like you, like you saw, give him a place to go. Uh -huh. Let him go forward and then tell him to back up. I'm not going to do it right here where he's confined against the wall. Now, I cocked the trigger and you saw him startle. After I've shot all six rounds, I'm going to dry fire it a bunch of times until he quits startling at cocking the trigger. Yeah, look at that. See, he came back to me without bumping on him that time. He's hearing the echo <coughs> against the plywood there. Getting better already. Getting better quickly. A little startle there. So he took those couple quick steps when I cocked the hammer. Now I'm gonna dry fire it a few times. I'm not sure if you can hear that on the on the microphone. <clears throat> Come on. 
Come on. You a little worried? Keep walking. Just like anything else. Repetition. Apply the pressure, take the pressure away. Alright. Let's go over here and we'll reload. Notice the angle that I was shooting at over here. You'll see as he gets further along, I'm not going to hide it from him. I always want the horse to see what I'm doing. I'll put six more in. Sometimes I'll put six, uh, three rounds in and then skip every other cylinder to get some more dry fires in. It depends on the horse. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go the other direction. Get him on the outside. This is usually a little harder because most horses just aren't as used to leading on this side. <clears throat> Shot's going to come from a different side of it. So I don't put it, I have actually have earplugs for horses. <clears throat> I use them sometimes when we show. I don't put earplugs in for this. It kind of defeats the purpose. If you're trying to get them used to the sound, you're not going to muffle the sound. If you have a horse that worries about noises or gunshots, you can put earplugs in. <coughs> I use them with uh, Hank sometimes when I show him. Come on. Dry fire a few times. Boy, much better. You know, smell it. You can smell the gunpowder. So I'll continue to work that with him. Uh, I'll need to get some more bullets. I, I get them from the hardware store right here in town. They're pretty common. And uh, keep working him until we can shoot off of him. As he gets to where I can fire the gun and don't get any reaction, then uh, what I'll do is I'll get in the saddle and have somebody else lead him on the ground and shoot from the ground and then transfer the gun to the saddle. And it's pretty, uh, pretty easy transition. It's really not that hard to teach. Uh, if you want to teach your horse how to, shoot from, how to shoot from horseback, message me and we'll talk about it. And uh, I'll answer any questions you have. This is Maverick. I'll put a link somewhere here to his playlist on YouTube. Until next time, thank you for watching.